Good day to you fine folks and welcome back to Ask a Slave. I'm Lizzie May, personal housemaid to President and Lady Washington, and I'm here to answer all your queries about life on the Washington's home and plantation. Now I've been made aware that many of you folks at home have your own questions, so I thought it the polite thing to do to open it up to you. So let's take our first question. I like this show, but can you have on some real black people? Real black people? Well, I know some folks in town passing for white, but why anybody would pretend to be black, I don't know. No, I mean like black black, like real Africa black. Not like the master got up in the mix black. Well, I don't know about your master, but my master has not been up in this mix. Thank you. Hey there, Miss Lizzie. Love the show. That's mighty kind of you. I got a question. <sighs> How did you end up in the house? My wife is more high yellow than you, and she even has that good hair. Lord of mercy. I'm too black for this one, not black enough for that one, but I'm just right black to be a slave. Hi, Lizzie Mae. I can totally relate to what you're going through because I used to be a mini mastery enactor at the local fair. People asked if it bothered me that my dress was too short for my underwear, but I could never respond because my head was too big for me to speak through. Strange as it seems, I can relate to that. Thanks, Minnie. You're so pretty. You give me a boner. I'm sorry, I give you a what? She gives me a bigger boner. Oh, next question. This is offensive. You're telling me. No, I'm serious. Slavery is not funny. Slavery's not funny, but you people are hilarious. I agree with the true Shabazz Three. You are ashamed to your ancestors. This is nothing but pure coonery. Did that heifer just call me a coon? You don't see Jews making fun of the Holocaust? I'm sorry, have you heard of Mel Brooks or Jerry Lewis? Satire is a big part of our culture. I think I lost the thread of conversation somewhere between Bona and Coon. So let's go ahead and take the next question. You should be happy we brought you people to this country. If you don't like it, go back to your mud huts in Africa. I live in Africa. I don't live in a mud hut. Africa has always been full of great cities and civilizations. Yeah, read a book, you racist. Hold on, hold on a minute. Now. I've actually had a lot of time to think about this since the abolitionist was here, and I say yes, I'll go back to Africa. Just give me my remunerations for services rendered, and you can carry me back to Africa on your way back to your pig farms in Europe, which is where you were before you made us do all your work. Oh, now she wants reparations. The Romans had slaves, and I don't hear them complaining. I don't know any Romans, do you? No. I mean, the ancient Romans? Why would she know anything about the ancient Romans? Yeah, and the Arabs had black slaves too. But this show doesn't talk about that either. If you want to talk about that, go bother an Arab. I mean, what on- This is an American show. Every American should watch Well, that's all- I'm a historian, and I know that George Washington's slaves had respect. How do you know what slaves felt like, you racist? Well, that's all- Lizzie Mae is so cute. I want a doll of her. Everybody who pays taxes today is one-fifth of a slave, and everyone who owns a business is 50% of a slave to the government. Think about that. Well, Jesus that's said, all the- So it will be at the end of ages. The angels well, will that, rise up. Well, will Jesus was black. Race is lazy. And this is a lot of